Okay, welcome to my video on uh, Monkey Jam. Uh, Monkey Jam is a it's a tiny little program for the PC for uh, Windows-based computers that's uh, used for making uh, stop-motion videos. So, let's start by downloading, uh, finding, and downloading Monkey Jam. So, I'm going to use Bing just for fun. So, Monkey Jam, go to the website, Monkey Jam Home, click on Download, enter your name and email, uh, and then you can download the file. Um, the uh, I should mention that uh, the version I'm using is 3.0, and from what I understand after installing it, is that it's a uh, uh, it's a um, it's a freeware program. Uh, that means uh, there's no sh there's no fee. You don't unlock extra feature by buying it. And uh, also, it's important to know that this is uh, in its beta phase, so you know uh, there may be some bugs in the program. Actually, I did find a couple, which I'm going to uh, show you how to get around them. So uh, I should also mention that I don't really have a very good u reason for using for using Monkey Jam, ex aside from the fact that I just wanted to try something new. I'm pretty familiar with iMovie, and I know how to use iMovie Maker, and um, I thought I'd just try something something different, uh, something I never used before. And uh, another reason I wanted to try Monkey Jam is that you know iMovie and Movie Maker, uh, I've used Adobe Premiere Pro and Premiere Elements. Um, those are all pretty heavy duty. Uh, you know, um, programs used to make all kinds of wonderful videos. Monkey Jam is specifically for making stop motion and has very few features, very little features. And the nice thing about that is uh, it doesn't get in your way. Uh, it, it's um, it's just focusing on making uh, you know stop motion animation. So, anyway, so here's me giving it a try. So after downloading it, let's open the program. So here's Monkey Jam. The first thing you probably want to do is you want to set the frame rate. So you want to go to Settings, Preferences, and I set the frame rate at 12 frames per second. Okay. Uh, regular video is between 24 and 30 uh, frames per second. I believe YouTube is around 15 to 18 frames per second. Stop motion, uh, roughly 12 frames per second, and stuff. Um, so I'm going to click OK. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go Edit add a layer okay I'm gonna call this one uh, part one okay and uh, choose the image folder that it's in so mine is gonna be in my drop box okay called uh, transfer all right MET and in MET I have part one okay so he, I name my layer and here's my here's the folders where my all my pictures are and I click OK so inside of my um, let me see here okay so here's my part one folder and all my images are here and what I like to what I've done is um, because th when you take a picture with your camera it's organized like this. When you take a picture of your camera, it sorts it in uh, numerical order. So I'm going to go to uh, details, sort them by numerical order, and just take my pictures and drag them into here. All right, and I can take some more pictures okay, and drag them into here, just like that. All right, and uh, what I can do from here is I can uh, preview the movie. So it's rendering the preview here, and you get to see the movie. Okay. Now, uh, a couple of tips on using this program is um, you don't have to when you preview the movie. When you click on preview, it renders the movie. It takes a, it takes some time. You know, if it's if it's a very long file, it takes a long time to render the movie. So every time you want to preview it, you know, it it could take time. Instead of doing that, what you can do is you can um, in video editing terms we call it scrubbing. So what you do is you click on this plus here, you see a larger image, and you can scrub the video by simply uh, clicking on the, on the frame that you want to start from and holding the down arrow, okay? And what you can do is you can preview the movie, okay, without, you can preview the movie without having to uh, render it. And what you can do is you use the arrow keys to kind of slow that movement down, okay? And um, again, that's called scrubbing. And of course, what you can do is uh, you could delete the scene here, 
delete that frame there, you could extend this frame like this, move this frame up, extend this one down, okay, you could delete delete this one, okay, and you could control C, copy this, paste it up here. Alright, and what you could do is you could also right click in here, insert a frame, or right click in here, insert ten frame. Oh gee, I don't know what that right click in here, insert a frame, right click in here, and um weird that didn't work. Oh well. And what you what you can also do is um, you can add a second layer. So add a second layer, okay. Use a different folder and what have you. Now what I recommend with the layers is uh, my computer is kind of slow. It's only a dual core system. Um, so what I've done is I've limited my file size to about a minute to a minute and a half, and uh, at 12 frames per second. Um, and I set my camera at a quite a low resolution. My camera is set at four uh, six hundred pixels wide to four hundred eighty pixels deep. That's uh, you know that makes for quite small pictures. You can see here my pictures are only eighty six kilobytes, eighty five kilobytes. And uh, I figured you know there's no need for HD quality, and uh, it makes uh, handling the files and uh, rendering the video uh, quite a bit easier and quite a bit faster. Um, so those are my a couple of recommendations. So obviously what you want to do next is you want to go file, save as. Um, I'm going to save it to, uh, see here, where's my MET stuff? My MET, I'm going to save it here as, uh, call it video, demo, All right? So here's my video demo uh, stuff. Okay, so now let's close off Monkey Jam. I want to show you something. So when I when you click on this and open it back up, you notice that uh, none of my stuff is there. This is the file I just I just worked on. Where is all my stuff? So again, when you when you double click the file and open it, and this is one of the bugs I'm, I, I was talking about is that it seems like all your work has disappeared. So what you what you can do about that is you go File, Open, all right, um, and you go. Um, where is it? Uh, desktop. Uh, MET. Okay. There. It's all back again. Alright, so again, instead of double clicking the file to open it, if your stuff doesn't show up, you can go File, Open, Navigate to the folder, and then open it. Now, what, what you want to do from here is when you're done uh, editing your video, you click on this one here to. Uh, to export the movie, you could export the movie into AVI format, and um, so I'm going to save it just to my desktop, I guess. I eh, save it right there. It's okay. See where else? Um, yeah. Anyways, okay. Just save the movie there. It exports the AVI, and then you can open it, you can run it, you can play it. Then you can bring it into iMovie or Movie Maker, and you can do all kinds of weird and wonderful stuff with it. Um, yeah. So uh, this is a brief introduction to uh, to Monkey Jam, and um, and uh, I guess my biggest recommendations are be very organized with your pictures, right? And um, and keep your camera setting. Uh, you know, at, at a low resolution. Yeah, you can take a lot more pictures, the files will be easier to handle, and the rendering will be easier as well. And, uh, and have fun. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll, uh, talk to you guys later.